Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still trying to recover, gaining back my voice after partying very hard in the club on New Year's Eve, so I apologize if I'm not my super explosive giddy self. I want to talk about uh, a brand new, two brand new cards that got revealed from Cyberstorm Access, a B Trooper card, and also another card that basically gives every single deck a brand new master rule and uh, honestly i think it's going to be banned so let's go ahead and dive into this b trooper card i haven't even read it yet uh the other card i have read that we'll get to in a second but this is b trooper cruel saturn it's a level 5 dark insect fusion effect monster 2400 attack 2000 defense uh it requires one b trooper monster plus an insect monster so they have a new level 5 fusion so instant fusion target you can use each effect among the first and third effect with this card's name only once per turn okay if this card is special summon you can add a b trooper card from your deck to hand that seems really gross you cannot special summon monsters except insect monsters we don't care about that if an insect monster monsters becomes banished face up you can target one of your banished b trooper monsters special summon it this fusion actually seems really solid you're obviously not going to fuse this with like any normal fusion spell you're just going to use instant fusion to bring this out and go from there um almost kind of makes me wonder if konami will ever ban instant fusion um but cool this seems like pretty decent support for b trooper so if you're interested in b trooper you're getting some new chicken tendies in cyberstorm access now let's talk about why you clicked on this video this is that <laughs> this this card is just fucking disgusting so this is time rending morganite ain't got time to wait i want to stick around till i can't see straight Shout out to whoever is a rapper. Oh, Neo Arcadia on uh, YGO Organization. Meanwhile, every time I do use this site, I always like to say, fix your fucking ads because you got too many on here, YGO Organization. I'm gonna make my ass wanna use ad block. Anyway, <laughs> so this is a normal spell. So right off the gate, before you've even seen the effect, you can use triple tactic tasking that comes out in Photon Hypernova to get to this card. And uh, yeah, I think Konami just said, you know what? We don't want to implement any sort of new master rule. Let's just put it onto what could be considered a custom card that you find on fucking Dueling Book because this card is insane. <laughs> <laughs> so when you activate this card for the rest of the duel you apply each of these effects you cannot activate monster effects in the hand so you can't use hand traps that's fine you can draw two cards each time you conduct your normal draw so that's not a choice so like you could deck yourself out but like who cares you're drawing two cards every turn you can normal summon or set up to twice per turn what the fuck <laughs> You can banish this card from your graveyard, discard another copy of itself, so another time rending Morganite. Each time you normal summon a monster this turn, your opponent cannot activate monster effects. Kanji Wise is magic slash evil eye while the card reads as Morganite in Force Katakana. Okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> this card needs to be banned at some point. <laughs> this card is insane, ladies and gentlemen. You mean to tell me that any deck going into Cyberstorm Access, which is the set after Photon Hypernova, so like roughly like four months after we get Photon Hypernova, so whatever four months after February is, we get this card that I guarantee you will be a secret rare in this set and basically just gives decks a whole new master rule, like drawing two cards in the draw phase, having two normal summons a turn, no monster effects in the hand. Who cares? Are you really going to need to use hand traps or anything else of that nature by steals when you're drawing two cards every turn and you get two normal summons every turn? Bro, this card is disgusting. And when you think about it, you can Foolish Burial Goods a copy of this card and just be able to banish it and ditch another copy just to get the normal summoning effect. But I mean, like, that's just like one aspect of it. You can use Foolish Barrel Goods to dump one, activate the second copy, and then in, if you hit the third, then you can, you know, ditch that third copy. And like, oh my lord, it's so good. Now, if you notice here too, uh, it doesn't have any sort of once per turn restrictions. It just says for the rest of the duel, apply each of these effects. So it's not like you can only act activate or use this card once per duel. So even if it gets negated, if you have another copy, you're still off to the races. This card is just insane. You know, if you're playing Flunderies, like Flunderies just like busted a load in their pants like this card is insane can you imagine flunderies activates this card they summon a robina you use imperm on it and they're like okay cool i'm just gonna use my second normal summon 
for an Eaglin and still get my pluses. Oh, and I have my field spell, which gives me normal summons. Oh, and I have M pin, which gives me normal summons. This deck help or this card helps every single deck in the game like just so generically well that it's disgusting if you're playing a stun deck and you activate morganite you can summon out inspector border and fossadina in the same turn and then once the game gets back to you because you have both those monsters out so obviously the game is going to get back to you you're going to draw two cards for your turn and as a stun deck you want to have as many pluses as you can oh and if you draw two and one of those cards is an extra then you're drawing two more cards oh you hit a prosperity now you're getting one of six this is so insane like the honestly and i kid you not i know that this is some table 500 shit but guardian treasure it's a continuous spell card that says when you activate this card you ditch five cards out of your hand to draw two cards then during each of your draw phases you get to draw two so you combine that with morganite you're drawing four cards each draw phase is that good not really but it's the fact that you can just do that now <laughs> and on top of that honestly I know, again, this sounds like some table 500 shit, but this makes the Egyptian gods somewhat playable. Think about it. Like, if you have, like, let's say two monsters on the field, you normal summon a third, and then you tribute all three for a god card. Like, that seems really good and, like, just flat out insane. Not to mention that, like, if you ditch it from your hand and banish one from your grave, then your opponent for that turn can't respond with monster effects when you normal summon a monster. Like what like that that's that is just insane this card is like what triple tactic talents was when we got that in rise of the duelist like this card is going to warp the meta like whatever the meta is at that point once we get cyberstorm access in cash tira they already have access to cash tira birth so they're already normal summoning a level seven without a tribute plus if they play morganite they can normal summon another level seven without a tribute as long as cash tira birth is on the field you know i've seen some people talking online about how this card isn't very good like people like asian eyes and shit like that and i think it's because of the fact people don't fully understand how disgusting this card is like you may think okay at face value okay i can get it with triple tactic tasking but other than that it's not really searchable it may get negated but the fact though that after you play this card every turn it's just going to help you snowball like on your initial activation unless you open up two copies to where once you start normal summoning the opponent can't activate monster effects but after that first turn and you start drawing two cards in each of your draw phases, you can't tell me that that's not good. I firmly believe that this card is going to be a secret rare out of Cyberstorm Access and or a Starlight rare like like uh, Ultimate Slayer was in Power of the Elements. It was a secret and a Starlight. And I feel that this card is easily going to be $50 plus. dollars. If you have been thinking about whether or not to invest in Cyberstorm Access, I would highly consider picking up a play set of Morganites on pre-sale. I'm not kidding. Because especially if everybody thinks that the card is ass, then that's just going to drive the pre-sale price of this card down, you know, once we actually get this months down the line. You need to have a play set of this card no matter what. Like, obviously, you shouldn't be paying $100 a copy, assuming that it's a secret rare on pre-sale prices, but you need to have this card when it comes out. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. I wouldn't necessarily say you need to buy a case of Cyberstorm Access because we don't know how good the set is right now. At least I haven't seen much. I feel like, honestly, debatably right now, Photon Hypernova might be a little bit better of a set, and even then, that set's not the best thing in the world. But still, the fact that we're getting a card like Morganite, oh, sweet baby Jesus, this card is nuts. I'm very curious to see what the OCG does with this card because I feel like almost every deck can just play three copies of this and just be off to the races, especially like if you have three flex spots in your deck. Like obviously if you're playing something like Tier Element, you're not going to want this because it turns off your Hoffenis, turns off your Sharon, it turns off your Bysteels and your Kelbex and Aigidos and stuff like that. Um, even your like your Keldeos and Medoras, like it just turns off all that. This is meant more for decks that like don't care about using hand traps. Like honestly, this could be used in something like Cash Tira just to help them extend more with their level sevens. So guys, let me know what you think about this card down in the comments. I think that this card is disgusting. Unless there's just something that's totally going over my head right now that makes this card bad. I do not see how this card is bad and you need to get a play set of this card. And I firmly believe that one day this card will be banned because it just seems that disgusting on paper. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.